Hello, hello, do you listen to me? Hello, perfect, perfectly. Yeah, that's great. Hello, mm. guys. I think it's the internet. I think it's the, the problem is the internet. Mm. Maybe that could be because escucha así como interferencia. Se le escucha así como interference, but we're okay. So thank, thank you guys. Thank you guys for being here in the class today. It's a great opportunity. Sorry, baby. Eh, Wendy, se escucha interferencia. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, póngale mudo, si, no sé. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, welcome to everybody. It's a great time, you know, uh, for me here, big with you guys in this beautiful, beautiful night. It rained like uh, half half an hour. It rained a little bit. No, a huge rain that was a little bit. And that can refresh because, you know, it's really... You know, it's really hot nowadays, so we need to refresh, you know, but I feel good, you know, to start part of a class this day. So how's your day going? Como van? Como van? Como ha sido su día? Cuéntenme. Tell me about your day. I swear they're all day. Okay. Oh, baby, baby. Because it, it was hot. Because it was hot. Yeah, it's it's complicated the weather like this because it's like not so good. I happy. You're happy. Okay. Yes. That that's that's good, Saida. The day good. is my day off. Oh, it's your day off. Wow. Day off. Oh, good, cool. And tomorrow too. And tomorrow too. And tomorrow, well, two days off. Okay, that is a, well, that is a good time. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Do you have any plans or something to do on on this date off? Do you have some plans or some things to do? Um, something different like chores. Algo diferente de actividades, sino que algo diferente. I don't know. Do you have some plans? No. Only um, cook. Cook, okay. Only cook. cook. Okay. Um, the cleaning. Okay. Home chores. Para eso el día libre. Home chores, only activities. Yeah. So sad. So sad because this is this is like part of responsibilities as an adult. Uh, bueno. A veces el tiempo libre no nos alcanza y pues si lo trabajamos es para algo de la casa o algo que tenemos que pagar. You know, that is a problem. I got some, I have some relatives living in United States, uh, in New York, and my my aunt, she has only one day off uh, living in United States because she works a lot. And she's, uh, she's, as an, as, she's like a nurse. So she's like uh, taking care about patients and everything. And I asked her, and I asked her, hey, aunt, it's, it's glad to see you. Uh, glad to chat with you, aunt. So tell me, what are you doing? And she says, um, well, this is my day off. Okay, era su único día libre. Que chivo, es su día libre. Yo le dije bien contento. And tell me, what are you going to do? What plans do you have for this day? And she says, first of all, I had to pay some taxes. I had to pay some bills. And after that, I need to do some stuff. That I need to, uh, to, to go to the grocery store because I need to buy some things for the house. In conclusion, the day she has was for doing some activities at home. Wow, it's complicated. Uh, but my recommendation, my recommendation is when you have the opportunity to disconnect from the same activities, try to do it. It's a double sacrifice, but we can do it because we work all the time. Trabajamos todo el tiempo, entonces Es importante a veces como desconectarse y hacer algo diferente, algo entretenido, algo divertido. To you, to your family, so it's good. Eh, entonces así me dijo, así me dijo. She said that, you know, eh, que el único día que tenía era para cosas de trabajo, para ir a pagar cuentas. Wow, ir a la tienda. So, 
that's people's life, you know. That's the, you know, very challenging. But anyway. Es como una pausa en el trabajo, pero continuémoslo en la casa. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, y, y sin pago. <laughs> so, so a problem. Lo peor. <laughs> yeah, y saben, you know, being a teacher is very challenging because you work at the school and also you work at home too. Eh, y para un teacher también es un doble reto. Tiene trabajo en su casa, tiene tra da, trabaja en, el, en la institución y trabaja en su casa, planificando, revisando tareas porque el tiempo no alcanza. So it's, it's like very challenging. What about you, Jose? Eh, something new about your day? Arnoldo? It's a normal day. Daily routine and daily routine and daily routine. Work, 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 and more work. Oh my goodness. Nothing different. Only, only, this, only this weekend is my day off. Only one day? Only one day too? Day and a half. A oh, day, day and a half. Oh my goodness. It's not enough. I mean, at least two days, that would be awesome. At least two days, that would be better. Day and but, a half for, for every 15 days. Wow, it's, it's very, very hard. And, but you can handle, you can handle the time, you can handle everything. It's like a, you get something stable. That can help, oh. right? Eh, uno estabiliza el tiempo, you know, we play with the time. We play with the time and we work with yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are, in my case, I plan in every day, every weekend, every month for the um, a best results in the schedule in life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so that, that, that was cool. That, that was like, you know, try to work with the time and activities. We just like uh, work in the things, right? So try to achieve the goals, try to, you know, get a balance about what we do. And maybe that's, that's important to work with that. That's what we try. Okay. Alguien más que nos cuente cómo le ayuda en su día por ahí. Alguien que nos diga, pues, yo teacher, mire, yo todo bien. Todo... Me. Good yes. evening, teacher. Good Hello. evening, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Tell me. Uh, sorry for the camp. Hello, Christian. Hello, Arnoldo. Nice to see you again. Okay. The pleasure is mine. Uh, I drive into my house. Uh, the traffic is very, very heavy. Oh my goodness. Well, take her, Christian, in the road. Uh, take take care. It's raining, Christian. Thank you. Uh, no, no, nothing. Como sería esta seco? It's dry. It's dry. No, no All rain. Right. To no rain today. Enciendo la cámara cuando llegue a mi. Okay, mister. That's okay. Yes, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You can. You can. Teacher, when, yeah. uh, thank you. Thank you. Where, when you, uh, where is the word for uh, temporal? Uh, seasonal, seasonal, but okay. this is but this is in the real world. But here in the country, temporal is like there is like a a lot of rain for a specific time or not? Yeah, in Santa Ana, uh, all the afternoon we are a uh, uh, little rain, but cloudy and. And very hot, and so so wet. Uh, it's a it's a bad day for me. I don't like the the the, the hot days. Mm -hmm. That is for me. Okay. 
Yeah, so that, that could be, especially for people who are all the time on the street or they work outside, and this is, could be a little frustrating. And I, and I understand you that it sometimes is like a little, you know, bad, it rains a lot, but sometimes it's on. So, well, that could be the problem. Okay, so we're gonna start today having a short backup about the last class because it's actually uh, 8 10. So we are like taking advantage of all the class we have today. First of all, we're gonna talk about um, a kind of a backup of the activities. Let me see. I will. You listen to your name and you say present. Okay, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Okay. Uh, Brenda Beatriz Calderon. Present. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Is not yet. Uh, Christian Ernesto Lasso. Present, present teacher. Okay. Uh, Orlando David, Orlando David, Orlando Alvarez. Present. Okay, he's right there. Uh, Eli Guillermo Antonio Garcia. Guillermo Antonio Garcia, he's not there yet, like yesterday. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez, he's not there yet. Eh, Karen Vanessa Morataya. She's not ready yet. Eh, teacher. Hello? Teacher, Jose Rodrigo is here. Um, Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Uh, we don't listen. Jose? Mm, we don't listen to too good. So try to check the microphone. Maybe there is. Okay, okay. That's better. Okay, Karen Vanessa. She's not. And Mayra Marisol Betsania. Marisol Betsania. She's not yet. Uh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio Antonio Rivera, not yet. Mauricio Enrique Garcia. Mauricio Enrique Garcia, no yet. Uh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. Hello? Who's speaking? Mauricio Rivera. Oh, maybe the microphone is not working. Uh, Mr. Rivera. Okay. Uh, Mauricio Enrique Garcia, he's not. Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez. He's there. Uh, Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Mayra Veraliz Moreno. She's not there yet. Um, Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Uh, Saira Marlene Larin. Present. And uh, Wendy Mar Maribel Zabaleta. Chair, I listen to robots this night. <laughs> okay, Jenny uh, Suleyma Santos. Present. Okay, so it's just there, right there. Okay, cool. Thank you guys teacher, for being here. Teacher, Mauricio Garcia is here. Mauricio Garcia, say hello. Hello, good night. Teacher. Hello. Okay, guys, don't forget to say present when you join because the minutes are being taken. So, okay, mister, I added the attendance list here. So don't, don't forget to say your name. Teacher, I'm here, so we're going to pass the attendance list, all right? Thank you guys for being here. You know, everybody, it's a great time because it's, it's Thursday. So this is like to, today and tomorrow, we we're about to finish the model number two. So every model, it's for us like a great opportunity, you know, to improve and practice English. That's the way we have to practice English and to do our best in every single class. So I'm really fascinated to, to see, well, the improvement that you have gotten. Imagine, guys, imagine yourselves. Um, this is using your imagination. Imagine that I see you like in the, in the model six, imagine in model five or six. Wow, your English will be awesome. I, I imagine listening to you speaking fluent English. That would be good. 
look, in the model number two, the level that we have gotten, imagínese unos tres, cuatro módulos más adelante, su nivel de inglés va a ser totalmente diferente, right? Súper bonito, fluido, so, imagínense. Y le agregamos otros dos niveles más, it's going to be amazing. So, this is like the, the personal satisfactions that we have, uh, we get opportunity, you know, to listen to speakers, English speakers and to work on every single class is really amazing to listen to you. Y eso es lo que vamos a apostarle. Le vamos a apostar a que usted, you have to practice. Produce the language. To improve. Try to speak. Communicate. And then get a backup. It's going to be important. De repente sucede también. Eh, de repente sucede. That there are some students que usted lo vio en un nivel. Y al más adelante dos, tres niveles. Two, three levels. Usted habla, escucha y que habla en inglés. Súper genial. Usted dice... Bueno, ¿y este qué le pasó? Que Chivo habla en inglés mejor que nosotros. Y eso que comenzó con nosotros. Hey, no, this guy started with us. Maybe the, there are like some striker's dances, like um, maybe, maybe they, this person is spoke English or practice more or have more interaction with people. Entonces, todo va a ir dependiendo eh, del tiempo que usted le dedique a algo. I know that most of you work. You are busy all the time. And, but... If you have like this is small spaces for practicing, the English is going to be much better. In the way that you dedicate more time, the English is going to be more achievable to you guys to read it. And uh, y eso es importante. Eh, mientras más avanza usted, mientras más estudia, más va creciendo con el idioma. Por aquí me decía una, una, una de, su, de ustedes, de su, your classmates, me decía, pero es que mire, teacher, yo aquí veo que hay varios que hablan inglés bien chivo. Eh, ellos vienen de procesos diferentes they come from different process y también la dedicación del, del inglés les ha servido para ir creciendo más this is what we had to do ustedes de repente escuchan bueno, bueno ustedes, bueno casi no he tenido muchas uh, like a full conversations ya en los niveles más altos mi inglés es full inglés, más rápido I'm trying to be more accurate entonces aquí estamos como like in the levels one, two, it's like a little soft pero a medida que ustedes vayan avanzando el nivel, el nivel de inglés tiene que ser más productive. Y ustedes dicen, teacher, ¿y por qué habla tan fluido que no sé qué? It's about a practice. When you get more time to practice, it's going to be the result. So you're going to do that. Así que vamos a ir like paso a paso. Go step by step, improving. Y mientras usted más estudia, más mejora. Y más ve la diferencia. Y si, y si memoriza más, trabaja más, el inglés va a ser mucho más, más efectivo. And what, what, what I'm telling you this one, because people say, how long do we need to study English? Ah, uh, mire, es que para que aprenda usted inglés tiene que pasar dos años, que no sé qué. En 15 meses, wow, but it's a lot of time. Hay personas que pasan dos, tres años, cuatro años y no aprenden. Yeah, I know people like that, because I work in this. I work in this. There are some people that they have two, three years and they don't improve. We're just like, you know, what happened with this student? Why he doesn't improve? ¿Por qué no mejora? Si tiene bastante tiempo está en la academia y no mejora. Porque es el tiempo que le dedica la, la persona. Es el, that's the time they have for studying. O sea, mientras usted le dedica menos tiempo a un idioma, el proceso de aprendizaje es mucho más lento. Entonces, si usted practica más, you learn more, you practice more, and you improve more. So, that's the goal. Eh? That's the goal. We dedicate time for this, and we just try, and we improve, and we learn. So, that's what we have to do, guys. That's the point. Así que, bueno, this is like my advice. Ya que ya estamos por terminar el módulo 2 y el módulo 3, pues esperemos que vengan nuevos contenidos, nuevos retos, new information, so it's going to be good for you guys. Así que, let's do it. Try, try to study. Okay, before that we go on uh, with the topic, I would like to ask you guys, what, what did we study in the last class? I need a volunteer to tell me, what do you remember, guys? What did we study in the last class? What do you remember? What's the main topic for the class? Who wants to help me? Who wants to say, ¿Qué hicimos en la clase de ayer? What did we study? Yes. Okay, we're going to do something. Uh, Jose Arnoldo, select one of your partners because Jose Arnoldo is one of the oldest every day. So he is like giving us a feedback about what we did. 
So Jose Arnoldo, select one of your classmates. Jenny. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's cool. All right, Jenny. Uh tell us Hi. a little bit. What do you remember about the, the yesterday's topic? What uh, what um, comes into your mind about it, the topic we started? I remember that uh, elaborate uh, complete forms. Mm, that nice. uh, mm -hmm, that uh, Sería como eh, things broken. Eh, screen, screen broken o broken screen. Sí. sí eh, broken screen. Broken screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do how how to use could for a polite and formal request? That's the topic. Yes, how to use could for polite informal request. Excellent. That was the goal. That was the goal. Yeah, we're studying this part, and that was actually very, very interesting because we just reinforced the content. And excellent. That's that's the point. That's the point. Well, and also, uh, what else we do we study, guys? Alguien más que nos ayude ahí. Alguien más que nos recuerde. No sé, Omar, Brenda. Mauricio Ernesto Gutierrez, I don't know. You can tell me what, what else comes into your mind about this content. Teacher, me. Yes, yes. Omar. I'm listening to you, Omar. Uh, a role play a conversation using the informa information from the four. Uh huh. Hey guys, uh, somebody has joined the class. Alguien más se ha unido a la clase para la asistencia? Hi, teacher. Hello. Brian. Oh, Brian. Okay, Brian. Uh, somebody else? Mayra Veraliz. Mayra Veraliz. Acuérdense que, que todos los minutos que ustedes tienen en la clase se cuentan. Entonces, o sea, tiene, si, si alguien se incorpora, me dice, teacher, aquí estoy, porque el tiempo va contando. Entonces, si son eh, 120 minutos, se va reduciendo. Entonces, that's why you have to say, teacher, I'm sorry for, for the interruptions, but I need to, well, to, you know, say my name because I need to, to have the minutes and the, and the attendance list. So, you say it. Okay. We're talking about, hi. Okay, we're talking about this conversation. We have a role play, as Omar said, they had a role play about uh, complaining about something, about a device, about a form. We had to figure out uh, what expressions does my use in a conversations. We have to work about uh, a fight complaint. What is the printer doesn't turn it on? What's the cell phone it doesn't, it doesn't turn on? The screen of the computer doesn't work or is black. So you give a description about that. And one of the most interesting things we did is to, com to complete or uh, complain formed. That was something very relevant because we learned how to write that with information about your name, the date, the phone number, the word number, the fax number, the city, the street address, the email address, and also the description about the place, about the product, what happened with the device, what happened with the, with the situation, with the electronic devices. You know what? Uh, good afternoon. My name is William Garcia, and I would like to report my laptop. Well, I start using it for one hour, and suddenly, when I was working, the screen was black. I couldn't see anything there. I turned off, and I turned on the computer, and it doesn't show a signal. So I don't know, can you help me to fix this computer or at least to get a replacement? And the signature, so the person may complain in date. Entonces ahí usted hizo la descripción de la laptop que no funcionaba, que la pantalla estaba negra, the, the screen is black, doesn't turn on, no enciende, y la intenté y no funciona. Entonces necesito que me la cambien o, o le den un reemplazo, o me den una nueva. Entonces, so signatures. 
as soon as possible. Thank you. That's it. That's a complaint form. Entonces, también es, algunos de ustedes usan un complaint form, some other stone, depending of the roles in the company, because it's important to focus about the roles in the company. And this is exactly what we did, right, in this part of this uh, topic in the class. But now we're going to study the new topic. That is the new topic for this day. Eh, ¿Cómo van con los ejercicios de la plataforma? ¿Ya, ¿Ya los avanzamos? ¿Me dicen que sí? Por favor, aunque sea mientan. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Aunque sea digan mientan, me teacher, pero sí, yo lo hice. Yes. Ok. Men mentiras piadosas se llama. Ya está, teacher. <risa> sí, excelente. Acuérdense que cada día vayan haciéndolo porque al final... Eh, sucede de que, bro, mire, no los he hecho y tienen que hacerlos todos, es que son bastantes, teacher. O sea, por eso vamos una al día. Una al día y es súper rápido, o sea, súper rápido. Acuérdense que el día viernes yo tengo que subir esas notas porque tienen que estar antes de las 8 el día sábado. Entonces, yo el sábado pues trabajo, entonces no puedo meter notas. Entonces, por eso quedan como, you know, uh, it's, a, it's like a warning because you have to do the activities. Entonces, terminando la clase, usted viene. Me voy a tomar unos minutitos y rapidito, rapidito, ese es el ejercicio. Por ahí vi uno que yo le escribí por ahí a un estudiante que le llevaba varias que no había hecho. Miren, no, no ha hecho los ejercicios. Hey, teacher, I'm sorry because I was working that. De ahí a los dos minutos ya los había hecho. Y yo, what? What do you do? It's flash, como el de superhéroe. Dije yo, qué rápido, pero bueno, quizás ya ha avanzado una buena parte. So that's the goal. Eh, bien. We're going to start with this one, uh, 19. How to use can for informal request? Well, we're going to use can. Have you heard about this word before? Have you, have you heard about this modal verb before? ¿Han escuchado acerca de este modal verb antes, el uso del can? Yes. Please. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, th this is like, uh, you know, previous. Uh, what, what do you, what's the meaning about this? What's the meaning about can in Spanish? ¿Qué significa can en español? Poder. Puedo. Okay. Poder. Poder. It's like, as an infinitive, es poder. Muy bien. In the, it can represents abilities. Can represents abilities, but at the same time, is used to ask for request. Can you help me with this computer? Can you pass the extension? Can you give me the, the, the Wi-Fi code? So you're like talking about that. And this is going to be the topic. And I will be able to make polite request. Polite. Polite request. Oh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Uh, Herrera, Francisco Herrera. Could, uh, can I can I use your laptop? Well, so we're using a formal way to say, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hernandez. Can I use your laptop? So in a formal way. Can I go out now? So, eh, usamos el can para hacer eh, solicitudes de una manera muy educada, cortés. A eso se refiere polite, ser cortés, educado. That is polite. And we have the, the challenge for this day. Ahorita venimos con el primer reto de esta clase. Este es el primer reto. That's the first challenge. And the question is, do you ever make request? If so, what kind of request do you make? Okay. So think about this question. In parentheses, you're asking about that. Teacher, what's the meaning about request in this statement? Okay. In, a, in a small words, as we know, request in English is why you're uh, asking for something. It's an act of asking politely or formally for something. Cuando usamos un request, es un acto para pedir algo de una manera educada y formal. Cuando solicitamos algo, en el momento que usted requiere algo para su trabajo, you're making a request. Que de repente, mire, necesito más papel. I need paper for my printer. So, and so I need to ask a request. ¿verdad? Entonces, usted tiene que solicitar. And, well, you know, make a request. Tiene que ser una solicitud. Parecida al complaint. 
parecida al complaint form. Eh, de hecho, en mi trabajo, en my job, everything that I do, I need to request. What can I do? I need to request by an email. One of the protocols my, in the company where I work is that I had to make an, uh, to work in a, in a email, in a email, in a kind of email. So for example, um, good morning. This is my example, right? But you can, but you don't have to see like, oh, no, good morning. I'll just say, uh, do you ever make requests? Yes. Uh, the answer for me is yes. If so, what kind of request do you make? That is the question. What kind of request do you make? Well, yes, and I, I ask for, es decir, yo pido uh, things I need in my job. Uh, for example, uh, paper, what else, paper, uh, sometimes laptops, but it's not so common, uh, printer cartridges, we're going to use printer, uh, etc. So uh, what kind of request do you make? So this kind of request, emails, uh, I, I ask for by emails, phone calls, or, or going to the main office. En mi caso, eh, comentándoles un poquito acerca del protocolo que tenemos en mi trabajo. Yes, I ask eh, for things I need, right? For things I need. Uh, as for things that I need in my job, for example, paper, laptops, printers, etc. I ask for it by email. Es decir, yo lo pido por correo a través de llamadas telefónicas o ir a la oficina principal, solicitar lo que yo necesito, to request what I need. Entonces, esa sería mi respuesta. La respuesta de ustedes, pues, eh, according to what you have about the information, do you ever make requests? ¿Hacen ustedes siempre solicitudes? Eh, usted pone yes or not. If so, if so es, a, y así es, y si es así, es como decir, y si es así, what kind of request do you make? ¿Qué clase de solicitudes tú haces? Ah, bueno, yo pido las cosas que necesito y puse el ejemplo, ¿qué cosas necesito yo a veces? Y ahora en la forma de cómo las pido, eh, lo pido a través de correos, a través de phone calls or going to the main office. Usted puede hacerlo a través de cartas también, letters, memorandums, uh, posters, you know, kind of, I don't know, some presentations. O sea, usted va a escribir de qué manera usted solicita este tipo de cosas a la empresa. So, think about it. And then you start uh, writing the examples. Si tienen preguntas, pues, you made equations. But first, try to formulate uh, your answer. And then we're going to give, like, the clear examples about that. We can do it. Let's do it, guys.
teacher. Yes. Para la respuesta, siempre debo de empezar con I ask o puedo decir también I request. También, ajá. De dos formas. Sí, las dos. Es más, request sería lo mejor. Es, es como ya más formal. I request things that I need in my job. For example, paper, laptops, printer, or whatever you want, right? This is like my example. So you can like use in, you know, on words, you know, to explain the, the situations. You can do it. You're welcome. Para decir cuaderno, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Notebook. Notebook. Ok. Finish. Okay, great. Okay, so let's see what we have. So just um, one moment.
Okay, just one moment here. Teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Ready? Hello. Hello. Teacher. Yes. I'm listening. Yes, I'm listening. Okay, who's going to break the ice? Who's going to break the ice? Okay, volunteer. Yes, someone who says, teacher, I'm going to do it. I'm ready for this. A ver, o los elijo yo. Mauricio, eh, ¿qué pasó? Eh, creo que no me escuchaba, ¿verdad? Eh, how no. do you say verbal o verbal? Verbal. How do you say Verbal, verbal es igual, el, es, se escribe igual que en inglés y se pronuncia verbal. Verbal. Verbal, ah. yes. Verbal. Ok. In my, eh, sería the first question. Yes. No, I don't. Eh, two question. Answer in my workplace, some implement are ordered or ordered or ordered or ordered how do you say order 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 i mean what what is the word in spanish eh que en mi en mi lugar de trabajo prácticamente se piden las cosas verbalmente verdad eh, no se llena ningún y prácticamente solo se piden implementos de seguridad verdad Okay, and entonces, set, ¿cómo set, lo dice set, en inglés? So can you say it in English? Uh, in my workplace, some implement uh, are ordered, verbal, and only set, safety implements. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it could be like in our in our jobs, we don't we don't complete forms, we don't uh, fill forms or complete forms. Decide. Eh, en ese, esa sería la primera. What we do is to, to have no. a verbal, verbal request. Verbal request. Solicitud de verbales, porque usted lo, lo pide. Entonces, a verbal request. What we, need, what we have is verbal request. Exacting for some security stuff, right? Something like that. So the expressions will be a verbal request. Yes? Uh, the microphone. Uh, yes. Uh, hello? Creo que no se escucha. No, es que no sé si es la aplicación o los, los audio porque, bueno, los tengo con me escucha hola hola sí sí le escucho sí también que aquí está lloviendo algo recio no sé si también eso influye teacher. Oh, ok could be it is raining yeah it, it, it is raining so most of the time affect the signal but try yeah but try you can try ok thank you ok who's next who's next who's next 
me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Yes, I ask for things I need in my job. For example, paper, pens, clips, marker, mer markers, notebooks, etc. Mm -hmm. I ask and take money. <laughs> and I buy the things or I order at the library. Okay. All right. That's that's great. That's interesting. Because you have the control to get them. I mean, if you need it, you get, look for it. If not, you go to the library. So you have everything around you. So that's cool. Okay. If somebody else, uh, and that was actually understandable. Somebody else? Me? Yes. Okay. In my work, I ask when I have little stock of controlled stationery. For example, cash recipients, disbursement orders, bank check, and others. I ask or how is done uh, filing out a requ re request form. A request form. Request form. Okay, reimbursement. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That that was that was clear too. That's okay. That was a great job. That was actually good. Yes. Como se pronuncia urge? Urge, urge, like the Para urgent. decir urge su ayuda, por favor. For example, you say it's urgent. That would be it's urgent. Urgent. Uh huh. It's urgent. Also, yeah, so also there is another expression like urge. Uh, it's something, be urgent. That is the most common. Es como ser urgente. Be urgent. Be urgent. Yes. Can I share my, can I share my information? Yes, after uh, Saira, because she's asking something. Okay, okay. Okay, Saira. Uh, eh, para escribir así, urge su ayuda, por favor. It is urgent. Es urgente? Microphone. Microphone. Okay. It's urgent. It's urgent. Uh -huh. It is urgent. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahí lo puede hacer contraction. It's urgent or it is urgent. So you can make contractions or not. Yes, Jose, you can share uh, your information. Okay. The question number one. Yes. I request for some needed as. Paper, not table, pen, pencil, ink, or printer, post-it, liquid paper, and other supplies for office. And the request, the, the number two, the request form for email, for example, dear morning, good morning, dear Marisol. For this email, I request the next suppliers in the, the list. For cover the list of uh, office, the gross, uh, grocer office. Mm -hmm. Your screen answer and so many blessings for you and your working. Thank for your support. Okay, so that was like a very formal, you know, very formal way to request something you know actually you uh, highlight the articles and the stuff that you're going to use in the request okay that's that's important yeah thank you so much because it was actually very extensive that's cool uh, somebody else somebody else who shares this information uh, who, who's next Veamos la mía. Ok, go ahead. 
Number one, uh, yes. Number two, I do it via email or WhatsApp. Bye. And I say, do you help, please? It's urgent. There is not internet connection. Uh, may you, uh, would you help me? Uh, uh -huh. Entonces, acuérdese de la expresión que vimos ayer, que usábamos el would ah. para hacer un request. Entonces, ese would es muy formal para decir, eh, ¿me ayudarías? Would you help me? Would it you is... help me? Uh -huh. Y aquí sí. usamos un contraction. It is urgent. Y aquí it is urgent. urgent, right? And then you say, I need this, right? So, Thank yes, it's a, it's a good request because we are asking in a formal way. So it would is very formal to express, you know, uh, in a polite way. Would you help me to complete this one? Would you help me to get a new computer? Uh, would you check the receipt? Would you check the information given in the letter? Can you help me with that? So you're like uh, giving some ideas about it. Okay, uh, somebody Thank you, else? teacher. You're welcome, you did a great job. So somebody else? Me. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, and um, my word, I, reque I re request, request. Um, request, 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 before, request, before uh, paper and paper. printer in paper, 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 printer in. Um, Pens, folder, and notebook, and say. Okay, that's okay. All right, that's cool. That's cool. That was clear, right? Okay, the last one, the last students for this part. Me. Yes. Tell me. Okay. Um, do you ever make requests? If so, what kind of request do you make? Yes, I request office supply usually every 50 days. For example, date, plastic bag, blade, and stationery in general. The request is made through an email. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, that's okay, by, by email. Okay, by email. By email, yes. All right, that's a good way to, you know, share some information here and that's important. Eh, recordarles chicos, los que tienen apagada la cámara, que la enciendan. It's a request. Ya ven, estamos ocupando ya la palabra. It's a request, okay? <laughs> so that is actually part of this. All right, we go on with the next part right here. So we're gonna have a conversation. Listen to your teacher and read the conversation, then practice with the partner. So we're going to have a short talk. You are, we're going to use the use of could and can, um, then practice. So I want you to listen carefully to this conversation, and we're going to practice. And also for this, I need you to have attention to this part. Me dice si lo si lo bien si lo ven bien. It's okay for you. Yes. All right, let's yes, go. teacher. Yes, okay. yes. Thank you so much. I want you to listen carefully. I'm going to read it to you. And just going to check the information right there and we go on this. Okay. Hello. This is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe and I work for Pepscom. Um, we received the new printer and I need help setting, up, setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Mm. Can you hold on a second, please? It's on alter page mixed uh, 30. Oh, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what, what I need to do next, please? Second. Check the installation CD is in the tray. And third, 
once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. We're going to listen one more time. We're going to listen one more time. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe and I work for Pepscom. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's an Alti Page MX30. Okay, first, make sure the power core is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me uh, what I need to do next, please? Second, check the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. Okay, so we get it. It's, it's, it's clear for you guys, or would you, would you like to listen one more time? Yes, listen. What? One more time, please. Oh, one more time. Okay, one more time, please. right? Okay. Um, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peps.com. We received the, the new printer and I need, to, I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Uh, can you hold on a, a second, please? Um, it's an Alti Page MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check, the, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, good, good. This is like a, a kind of long conversation, so we're gonna practice. For this, I need your help. Necesito que uh, dos estudiantes me ayuden a leer esta conversation. So, okay, who wants to be the first one? Who wants to be Max and who wants to be Joe? Me, Max. Okay, Christian, you will be Max. Uh, and uh, who wants to be Joe? Yes. Eh, solo uno, chicos. No todos a la vez. Jenny, teacher. Okay, me. Jenny, gracias. Muy bien. Es que por las voces de todos me confundí. Muy bien, excelente, Jenny. <laughs> Christian will be Max and Joe will be Jenny, all right? So, lo voy a leer una vez más and then you do it. So, hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pepscom. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Um, let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? It is some Alti Page MX30. Oh, okay. first, make yeah. sure that the power that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on the complete install. Okay, you can start, Christian. Okay, okay. Hello, this is Matt from Tech Support. How can, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me? Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an Ulti Page MX30. Okay. First, make sure that the power core is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do you next, please? Second. Check that the installation CD is in the tray 
and third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Wow. Okay, okay, great. Christian, you will select someone and also Jenny, you will select someone else. There are some details that I want you to, to focus. For example, setting it up, setting it up. In English, cuando lo dice rápido, usted dice setting it up, setting it up, setting it up. That's the word, right? Okay, could you tell me, could you help me please, right? Uh, okay, Christian, select your partner. Select Brenda the next partner. Beatriz. Who? Brenda Beatriz. Okay, Brenda. Uh, okay, Jenny, select someone else. Mauricio Rivera. Okay, uh, all right, that's cool. Thanks. Okay, Brenda, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I will read it because I need you to focus on that. So follow the reading with me. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max, my name is Joe. I work for Peps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an multi-page MX study. Oh, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, you can start, Brenda. Okay, hello. This is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Peace.com. Uh, we re re received the new printer and uh, need help setting it up. Could, could you help? Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. I can you hold on a second, please. Uh, it's an until until page MX Perry. Okay. First, make sure that the power core is plugged in. All right. It's it is. Could you tell me that I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD it is in the tray. And here, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Thank you. All right, so Brenda, select the next partner. Teacher, and also excuse more, me. And also more, yes. Uh, how do you say receive? Receive. 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 Yes. Es que aquí está cayendo una lluvia torrencial y no no oigo no escucho bien cómo se pronuncia. Ah, we we received. Yes. Yes. Okay. Don't worry because the rain is different places. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Eh, elija un compañero, eh, Mauricio. David. Okay, David. Okay, David. You will be Max. Y a quién elige? Rivera. Uh, Wendy. Wendy. Wendy Zabaleta. Hello, Wendy. Hello. Wendy Zabaleta. Are you Are you ready, Wendy? Yes. Okay. Okay, you can start. Comienzo. Yeah, okay. you can start. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I, I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips.com. I work for Pips.com. We receive, receive the new printer. And I need help setting, setting, it, setting it up. Could you help me, please? Not problem, Joy. Could you tell me the model? 
Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Um, it's at until page MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power core is uh, plugging in. Right, it is. Can you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD in the tray. And third, once the menu, the menu upper of the screen. Being on complete install. Ok, thank you so much. Eh, Wendy, creo que tiene dificultades con el con el, los audífonos. Se escucha así como estilo, eh, no sé. Eh, como cortar y con eco. Ajá, entonces no sé si tal vez quitando los micrófonos y solo con el propio audífono tal vez suena mejor. Sin los audífonos, porque creo que sí hace interferencia. Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm sorry. Solo hablando. Hello. Hello. O qué me habla? No, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. So, no, en el caso de Wendy, o sea, cuando ah. usted habla, cuando Wendy, cuando usted habla, se escucha el estilo robótico, entonces se le entiende poco. Entonces creo que tiene que ver algo con, con los audífonos, si no me equivoco. Uh -huh. Se escucha así uh, como, ya. Yeah. Sí, toda, la, toda la, la, la clase he estado escuchando así, no sé a qué se debe. Sí, mis no, no sé. Yo creo que sí, es probable. Teacher. ¿Ustedes lo escuchan así también? ¿Ustedes escuchan a Wendy así? Yes. Sí, yes. sí, sí. Yes. 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 Ok. Ay, Siento que es la lluvia que está cayendo. No, no sé qué hacer. Entonces, ¿cómo hago? Me quito los audífonos y solo hablo. Así. Si puede usarlos sin los audífonos, yo creo que se puede, si no me equivoco. Okay. I don't know. You can try. Ok, okay eh, vamos a pasar la asistencia. Vamos a pasar la segunda asistencia. Eh, let me see here. One second. Mm. So everybody just pay attention with this. Uh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Uh, Brenda Beatriz Calderon. Present. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Brian Javier Carmona. No boys. Kristen Ernesto Lazo. Present. Uh, David Orlando Alvarez. Present. Eli Azael. Uh, Guillermo Antonio Garcia. No está Guillermo Antonio García. José Arnoldo Mazariego. José Rodrigo Hernández. José Rodrigo Hernández. Estaba por aquí José Rodrigo. Ya no está, me dicen. No está. Yes. José Rodrigo. No hay señal. We don't know. Eh, Karen Vanessa. Present. Eh, Marisol Betsania Pacheco. Marisol Betsania. Eh, uh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present. Ok, ok, ok. Es la lluvia la que se está afectando. Eh, Mauricio Enrique García. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Present. Eh, Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco Hernández. Present teacher. Ok, Zaira Marlene Ladín. Present. Wendy eh, Maribel Zabaleta. Y Jenny. Wendy. Present. Ok. And, and Present, Jenny. sorry. Ok, ok, ok. Sí, sí, sí. We don't, we don't worry about it. Okay, guys, uh, that was good. I mean, after we practice, you know, sometimes we got some problems with the connection. Well, this is the time to ask about the conversation. ¿Tienen preguntas sobre la conversación? ¿Alguna palabra que sea nueva para ustedes? ¿O alguna expresión que ustedes digan? Hey, teacher, I didn't, didn't get that. Can you help me with this? Uh, about the context. Uh, ¿Alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario? 
Teacher. Yes. Eh, en relación a la primera oración de Max. Yes. Eh, yo sé que no hemos llegado a esa parte, pero... Bueno, igual quiero hacer la pregunta porque quiero salir de la duda. Cuando dice, how can I help you? Yo he escuchado que lo dicen, how may I help you? O sea, utilizan may en vez de can. Sé que no hemos llegado a esa parte, pero es muy, muy diferente, ¿verdad? El significado. Eh, realmente es, el significado es, es casi igual. La única diferencia es de que cuando usamos el can, eh, pedimos algo, pero es un poquito informal. El may es más formal que el can. Por eso okay. es que vemos en la pantalla que dice use can for informal request. Es decir, usamos can, lo podemos usar, no hay ningún problema. Uso el, el can y, y el may, y los dos son iguales en el contexto cuando usted solicita algo. El, el may es mucho más formal porque el may se enfoca directamente en request. El may se enfoca en requerimientos, en solicitudes de cosas. En cambio, el can es informal porque aparte de que se ocupa para request, se ocupa para abilities. Entonces, ahí es la diferencia. No es que realmente sea una palabra súper informal, sino que porque el can tiene más de dos significados. Se, se aplica para dos contextos, para solicitud y para habilidades. Entonces, esa es como la diferencia. Y, pero los dos tienen el mismo significado. Ok, y una última pregunta. ¿Verdad que can también significa como bote. Eh, lata, ajá, lata, can, ahí es como sustantivo, la, es, tiene función de sustantivo. sustantivo, es un sustantivo, ahí la función es una lata, un bote, un, that's can. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, any other question? Hay tres palabras, teacher, que, que no conozco. Eh, ultipage, court, and plugin. Eh, ultipage is like the brand. Es como la marca. O sea, le está pidiendo que le dé el modelo. Entonces, uh -huh. en este caso, ultipage MX30 es como el modelo, el nombre del modelo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the other one is power cord. Uh -huh. Cord, ajá. Uh -huh. El power cord es como el que tengo en este momento. No sé si, I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. Eh, we use it to connect stuff. This is, this is the power cord. Look. Look. No can bad. you see it? Uh, Cargador? Mm, no, eh, esto, no. esta parte. Eh, no necesariamente tiene que ser un cargador. Sino que es, el es con el donde... toma corriente. Ajá, ajá así es. Y cuando usted plug, plug in, cuando usted lo conecta, eh, conectar en inglés se dice plug in. Entonces no. usted ocupa el, en este caso, de power cord y lo conecta, yo plug in. Entonces a eso se refiere. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, so this is actually a, very common for all kind of devices. So what would be the meaning about the power cord? En, en español para nosotros es como un cable de... Es como una palabra técnica, cable de alimentación le llaman. Y nosotros, ¿cómo le dicen en El Salvador? ¿Cómo le decimos? ¿Cómo le llaman? ¿Cómo le llaman en El Salvador? Esto es un cable de alimentación. USB, cable. No, no porque puede, ser, puede ocupar de otros. Eh, no necesariamente tiene que ser ese. Okay, look at this one. I got the other one. So this is this is another one. This is the power cord. Look. So this is actually the word. And it's plug in. Que esté conectado. Asegúrate que, que esté conectado el cable de corriente. Que esté conectado. Eh, all right. Entonces, okay, está bien. It is. Está. Okay, ¿qué más preguntas? More questions. Teacher John. Yes, yes, miss. ¿Qué significan peps? Es en el segundo párrafo. Ah, uh, peps.com. Este también es un nombre para referirse que él trabaja en este lugar, en peps.com. Posiblemente sean las siglas de algún nombre, de algún apellido o de la empresa donde trabaja. Entonces, no es tan relevante. Um, y hay otra que está en el último párrafo de, de Max. Dice... 
a pierce. ¿Qué significa eso? Eh, a pierce. Let me see what it is. Tercero. ¿Dónde dice? Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Uh, work for pets. Con receive the printer. Ah, es de las últimas. Quiero ver. Appears significa que aparece. La, la, la palabra appears. Appears on the screen. O sea, una vez que el menú ah, aparece, una vez que el menú aparezca en la pantalla, click on completing sound. Entonces, cuando aparece en la pantalla el menú, usted le va a dar clic en la completa instalación. Uh -huh. All right. Y se, y se pronuncia appear. Okay, como lo hicimos en la clase. Muy bien, vamos con la siguiente parte. After we read the conversation, we're going to complete this exercise. Figure it out. Fill in the blanks, the use of conversations about to help yourself. First, you tell me what model is. So, va a leer la conversation and you are going to complete this sentence with the information you have right there in the conversation. Number two, you describe the problem, please. ¿Qué palabras son las que necesitamos? Revísenlo, check it. Y pues, y let's see what happened. Será, sería la palabra cool, teacher. Eh, ok, let's see. Let's see the answers. What word do you, uh, do you say? Cool, you tell me what the model. model. Could. So you say that the word could be could. Let's see. Uh, it's ok for you guys? Yes. Yes. Could, could you tell me? Vamos a ver. Can. Oh, can number you tell two, me? Can. Okay. And the number two is, can you describe? Okay. Vamos a decir algo súper importante. Hasta lo voy a usar. Voy a usar otro color. Vamos a usar otro color. Eh, aquí hay dos significados. Y se los voy a decir en español. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ponerlo. Okay. Could. Y can. ¿Cuál es, la, cuál es el, el significado de can? ¿Y cuál es el significado de could? Bye. Anoten esto, anoten este significado. Cuando usamos could para una pregunta, could va a significar podrías, es decir, como una probabilidad. Podrías decirme, could you tell me what the model is? Podrías decirme cuál es el modelo. Entonces, este could es, es una expresión también para, para, una, para solicitar algo. Could you tell me what model is? Puedes decirme, podrías decirme qué modelo es. Ok, es this model. Y la siguiente, can you describe the problem, please? ¿Puedes describir el problema, por favor? Y si ustedes se fijan, eh, usamos el please because it's a very formal expression. Uh, we use it because it's very formal. Es una expresión súper formal en inglés. Use it. So, please, uh, could you do this one, please? Can you work on this one? Can you help me with this, please? Can you try with this? Ese please es importante. Es una good expression. Next. Ok, eh, vamos a ver algo rapidito, un video eh, acerca del el can, el could y el can. Entonces, el could, ¿qué significaría could? Para podrías. Mí, ajá, para personalizarlo le vamos a poner podrías. Claro, si usted trata a las personas de usted, podría. You know, could you? Could you do this? ¿Podría usted? No. Look at this. Y can, ¿qué significa la can? Puedes. Puedes o pueden, depende también a uh, you treat people. Ok, look at this. Could you do this? Podrías. Could you do that? So, look at this. Entonces, eh, vamos a ver un video eh, en este momento. Les he mandado el último video que quiero que vean es el que está en el grupo 
en el chat, no, eh, les mandé tres, pero quiero que vean el último, donde dice models verb making request. Learn to use the modal verbs can and could to make request. Eh, así que vamos a verlo. Y cuando usted pues, lo vea, regresamos nuevamente. Así que póngale eh, mute to the microphone. Así que eh, póngale, apaguen el micrófono y pues escuchamos el video, el último que les he mandado. Let's go. Teacher. Yes. Es una pregunta, ya pasó la segunda lista. No yes. me había podido conectar. Eh, Brian. Sí, acabo de regresar. Ok, Brian. Yes. Ok, so, but sorry. We, but don't worry, don't worry. I know you're here. Thanks for letting me know, please. All right, let's go with this. Vamos a escuchar el video en este momento, el último que les he mandado. Y cuando lo terminemos, pues vamos a socializar. What do you understand about the moral verbs? ¿Qué es lo que entienden ustedes acerca de esto? Let's go. Okay, so, well, 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 that's actually we're good. The question is, hay una palabra clave. There is a clue word that she says. And when do we use could and can? ¿Cuándo lo usamos? ¿O para qué lo usamos? Could es como, bueno, ahí en el video yo lo vi como que era para pedir una dirección, teacher. Ah, eso es un ejemplo, ajá. ¿eh? Ok, como el Kim. Ajá. Y este Ken, eh, se, se, bueno, yo entendí que se puede usar cuando, cuando, como, no es como una orden, ¿va? sino que cuando usted dice, I can, yo lo puedo hacer, ¿va? O, o, o yo puedo. Eh, y el Cult es como que si usted llega a donde alguien me podría ayudar o, o, o sea, como le dijera, eh, es como, como, 
no es como una orden, sino que es como una petición, cult. Y que siento yo que es como más, más este, fuerte la palabra. You can, o I can. Ok. Ok, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Uh, ok, somebody else. Me. Yes. Uh, Cole is more polite than Ken. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes, exactly. So, could is more specific for request in English. And also, it's a little bit more formal than can. Correct. Correct, correct. Muy bien. Entonces, eh, podemos ver que... Eh, ¿Puedes ayudarme? Can you help me with that? Eh, que podrías. Mira, ¿podrías ayudarme? ¿Puedes ayudarme? Entonces, como ustedes dicen, se siente la diferencia. Es decir, yo le digo a usted, hey, mira... ¿Puedes ayudarme con esto? O sea, suena así como que, hey, like a strong. Pero si yo le digo, hey, ¿podrías ayudarme con esto? Entonces, se siente la diferencia en cuanto al request something. Entonces, that is the goal, right? The, the goal is to identify both. But we can use both. Podemos usar ambos y no hay ningún problema. Vamos a ver el ejemplo. And for this, I will request to, let me see. Mm. Okay, Mauricio Enrique Garcia, help me to read uh, how to use cool for polite and informal request. Mauricio Enrique Garcia. No sé si será el micrófono. Porque ahí está. El micrófono, Mauricio Enrique Garcia. No, no está. Eh, ¿Alguien más? Vamos a ver, vamos a elegir a Karen Vanessa. Karen. Hi. Okay, help us to read the information, eh, Karen. Um, how to use cool for polite and formal requests. The modal verb cool is used for polite and formal requests. A structure. Cool plus subject plus verb base form plus complement plus, eh, no sé cómo se dice sin la interrogación. Question mark. Plus question mark. Examples. Could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Thank you, uh, Karen. Could you turn on your camera, please? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, it's a requirement. And Brian Javier, too. Uh, yes, thank you guys. It's a requirement. Exactly. So you can appreciate. No it's the rule. I'm sorry. But I ask because I say I could you. It's formal. Okay, that's cool. Well, actually, we're talking about could for polite. Y creo que Christian decía de que lo usamos para una manera polite and formal request. Miren qué interesante. Ya ahí ya nos. Ya nos. Ya nos. ¿Cómo les digo? Sol, solucionó el, la situación, el misterio, ¿verdad? Que en este caso usamos el can, el could, for polite expressions. Could you write this report? Could you deliver this letter? Could you help me with this material? Could you check this information? Could you work in that? Entonces, este could nos ayuda a expresiones un poquito más, eh, más claras para solicitar algo. ¿Cómo podría solicitar algo? Denme un ejemplo de algo que ustedes... Eh, solicitarían en su trabajo. Denme un ejemplo. ¿Qué solicitarían? Could you... Un aumento de sueldo. Oh, my God. Ahí sí. Con milagros. <ríe> Nos dan ahí algún, algún aumento. Right? Pero, bueno, ¿cómo podríamos pedir algo? O sea, piensen en algo. Could you fix my, could you fix my laptop? Please. Could you do this one? Could you write this report for me, please? Could you call the Could you call the the boss to have the meeting, please? Could you help me to pick this uh, trash up, please? Uh, 
could you bring me a coffee, please? So different requests you do every day in your jobs. Uh, could you help me to get an extension for this project? Uh, could you assist in this kind of activities with these people? Y así vamos a ir expresiones que puedan ser bastante útiles. ¿Qué otras expresiones ustedes utilizan con could? Could you give me permission to leave early? Could you give me the permission for leaving early? Okay, that's okay. You are requesting a permission, okay, to go. Yes. What else? Could you replace my computer? Okay, could you replace my computer, please? Please, please, please. Good, good, good. What, who else? Ok, ¿qué otros ejemplos podemos usar? Chicos, los veo muy callados. Eh, no sé si han podido comprender un poquito la estructura de cómo podríamos formular una pregunta. So, what do you think about it? Could you see the documents? Uh, could you see the documents? Yeah, it's firma, sim. Document signs, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, any, other, any other sentence you can use for requesting something? Could you turn on your cameras, please? Excellent. Y hasta la voy a resaltar así con colores. No. <laughs> okay, look at this. Could you turn on the camera, please? Inglés Corporativo will be very happy with this. Okay, look at this. Turn, turn on your camera, please. Okay, what else? Uh, what else? Eh, ¿Qué más? Veo por ahí. Eh, ¿Alguna otra idea, chicos? Me. Yes, yes, Christian. Could you give me the inventory report? Ah. Please. Okay. Replace. Y ahí el famoso please. please. Oh, could you give me the inventory report, please? Yes. It's okay. I'll be more than glad to help you. Yes, of course. It's a pleasure. Okay. Yes, you got it. Okay. Piensen en otra oración. Piensen en otra oración. Uh, one moment. I need, to, I need to plug in my charger. Uh, I need to plug in my charger. One moment.
Okay, so we're ready. Sorry. We're ready. I got the char charger. Lucía, ya estamos listos para unas tres horas más de clase, así que estamos activos. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we actually got some inventories. Any other statement that you would like to socialize in this part? I don't know, a statement, Mayra, that you would like to report? Yo hice esta. Could you verify with holding voucher? Please. Okay, I'm sorry. Let, let me write it. Uh, déjeme escribirlo. One, one more time, okay. please. Okay, repeat it. Uh -huh. So, me quita el impulso, teacher, por eso. <laughs> Sorry. Could you verify with holding voucher, please? Eh, uh, is, no, verify with holding. Quítale el da. Oh, bueno, no, sí, de Ahí, ajá, uh -huh, with holding voucher. Please. Eso. Okay, could you verify the withholding voucher, please? Could you verify, verify the withholding voucher? Uh, voucher, please. Wow, this is a great sentence. Mayra, that was a great statement. Si no les pregunto, si usted, es que a ver, si yo no les pregunto, ustedes no dicen nada, chicos. Callados todos. La verdad es que yo voy a empezar a preguntar ya, de verdad. Así, todos. No. no. Uh, for everybody, because you know, you really make great statements. Ok, vamos con la siguiente estructura. Vamos con la siguiente estructura. How to use can for informal request. So, for this, we're going to ask to... Um, let me see, Ana Lilian Reyes. Ana Lilian Reyes, read the how to use can for informal request. ¿Cómo fue, Tricky? Traduzca, me estaba durmiendo. Hey, hey, Ana, come on. Okay, help me to read. Help me to read the information. Ayúdeme a leer la información. Okay. How to use it? How do you see can for information requests? Requests, I have palabra me cuesta. Um, can is used to ask informal requests. Structure uh, can, ¿cómo se dice el signo más? Plus. 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 Sería estructura. Can. Class sujet, clan bird, eh, base, 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 base form, ¿Cómo fue? base form, De, base form, plus, close complement, close y el signo de interrogación, okay. question mark, question mark. Example. Can you can you write this report, please? Can you help deliver them later today, please? Thank you so much. So you can see here, you know, how to use can for informal request. As you can see the rule, eh, informal request es, es prácticamente, como lo dice la palabra, es hacer una solicitud de algo, un requerimiento de algo, pero de una estructura informal. That is the, the, the kind of the rules for this. Look at example, you know, uh, can, I, can, I use, can I use this? Can you write this report, please? Can you help the... Uh, can you help deliver these letters today, please? Okay. Vamos a ver los ejemplos. Eh, si ustedes se fijan, es la misma estructura, solo que es vista desde un enfoque, ¿qué? Informal. 
So if we use these statements, I'm sorry, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Fishing. Entonces yes. la diferencia entre, entre call y can es que si yo digo call, lo estoy diciendo de manera formal. Y si ah. digo can, de manera informal. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So you can use both, right? So remember that we use formal and informal expressions in the context where we are. Es decir, si usted está en una reunión importante en an important meeting, usted, lógico, y va a solicitar algo o algo de trabajo, eh, obviously that we're going to use can, could, because it's more formal. En cambio, usted está con sus amigos, with the people around. Entonces, usted dice, bueno, si es, no es una reunión importante y es entre amigos, yo puedo usar el can. And, and that is not a problem, so you can, you can use it, okay? So the, we can use can in this case. Así que could is para formal and can is for informal, but the context is very similar. Okay, entonces, eh, ¿qué les parece? Uh, pregunta sobre esta estructura. Questions about this structure for the moment? No questions. It's easy, like a piece of cake. <laughs> yes. Okay, so if there, there are no comments, that's mean that it's understandable. Así que, eh, well, como no hay preguntas, vamos a pasar a la siguiente, la siguiente estructura. Okay, we go with this one. It's an exercise that we're going to work here today. Okay, it says, um, write five requests that your boss could ask you next week. Okay, this is what you had to do. And this is what we had to do. Five, five requests, right? Five requests that your boss could ask you next week. ¿Qué preguntas, qué preguntas su jefe le podría hacer a usted o le podría consultar la próxima semana? Esa es la tarea que vamos a hacer en este momento. Miren qué interesante está. Usted va a pensar en cinco preguntas que le podría hacer su jefe. Por ejemplo, eh, Ana Lilian, could you help me with this? Ana Lilian, could you help me to get the report? ¿Qué preguntas creen que le podría hacer su jefe a usted? En este caso, como Ana Lilian es la jefa de jefas, podría ser también que Ana Lilian, un, eh, an employee, un empleado, le, le, le pregunte a ella también. Entonces, sí es vice versa. Porque aquí, aparte de, 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 well, everybody's actually an employee. Pero I también boss. me preguntan, teacher, la dueña siempre me pregunta a mí. Bueno, eso, eso también, ¿verdad? Puede ser balanza, pero si, por ejemplo, nadie le pregunta, entonces usted puede poner el, también el, lo que un empleado le esté preguntando, right? Hey, can you help me with this? Could you help me with this? En este caso, vamos a enfocarnos a usar el could, porque es un poquito más formal. Así que las vamos a hacer. Eh, for this, we have 10 minutes. Y luego las vamos a compartir con la clase. Así que eh, escribamos las cinco preguntas que su jefe eh, podría hacerle the next week. Y si usted jefe, las preguntas que su empleado le podría solicitar. Eh, por ejemplo, alguien me decía, teacher, uh, creo que decía en una oración anterior, creo que era, eh, could you, ah, eh, excuse me, boss, could I leave early today? ¿Podría irme temprano hoy? Esa es la pregunta, right? Y la respuesta es, I don't know, maybe. Okay. Teacher, ¿cómo podría decir, call you, como traerme algo? Traer. Bring. Could you bring? Right, okay, thanks. You're welcome. Yes. Could you bring me something? Could you bring me uh, this material? Could you bring me this information? Could you check this material?
Ok, uh, meanwhile you work in the statements, mientras ustedes trabajan en, la, en, en las oraciones, ¿verdad? Solo un pequeño comercial, no se les olvide que, eh, que estén ya completadas las actividades de esta semana en la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Entonces ya tienen que estar ya hechas las actividades de día lunes, martes, miércoles y en este caso que sería jueves, ¿verdad? Entonces tenganlas ya realizadas para que mañana... Eh, viernes que es el cierre y que no tenemos que faltar porque mañana vamos a hacer la encuesta de satisfacción que es el tercer requisito fundamental para para Insafor eh, que usted lo realice en la hora estipulada ya tenemos una hora estipulada que sería eh, en las prácticamente en la primera hora vamos a realizar la encuesta de satisfacción todos juntos yo les voy a dar un me una media inducción por si no se recuerdan ya el miércoles ayer pues hicimos un pequeño repaso de cómo es tengan a la mano ya su información, ¿verdad? Para el día de mañana, la información que esté en el correo que les han mandado con sus datos, porque son los datos suyos, lo que usted va a ingresar en la, en la información de la encuesta de satisfacción. Luego, su valoración personal sobre el curso y su desarrollo también, su participación en este proceso. Entonces, mañana sin falta, tenemos que estar todos temprano, hagamos el esfuerzo, yo sé que pues el día viernes, pero también es eh, viernes eh, para finalizar el módulo 2, ¿verdad? Que de estos principiantes. Y tener también listos las actividades para que yo en la noche esté pasando las notas, porque no las puedo pasar el día sábado. Entonces, eh, para que las tengan a la mano. Y eso lo vamos a recalcar también al final. Entonces, eh, eso es importante. Entonces, mañana eh, también al final que haga su encuesta de satisfacción, tomarle la, la captura. Así que. Mañana todos al mismo tiempo haremos la encuesta de satisfacción. Ok, almost ready. Uh, someone who says ready, alguien que diga listo. ¿Alguien que ya tenga su información? Ready. Excellent. Ok, we're going to make the breakup rooms. Vamos a trabajar en las breakup rooms. Y usted va a compartir con su compañero los five requests that your boss could ask you next week. So for this really one, we're going to okay, we're gonna make pairs. And also you're going to socialize this information with your partners. Let me see. Eight groups. We're going to make eight groups right now. Ok, usted entra a, a los breaker rooms y comparte a sus compañeros las oraciones que usted tiene, las preguntas que ustedes eh, le realizarían. Uh, José Rodrigo. José Rodrigo. Yes. Okay. 
no le escucho. No, no se escucha, Wendy, se escucha como cortado. No se oye. No, se escucha como cortado. Es que no sé si, tal vez sin los micrófonos, sin los audífonos, o sea, y desconectándolo de la compus, tal vez se escucha mejor. No sé. Yo creo que quizás debe ser el internet. En el sillón, en el sillón, en el maletín. Creo que ahí lo dejé. Eh, Wendy, Wendy, ¿se escucha? Vaya, intentemos algo. Intentemos algo, Wendy. Apague su cámara para ver si podemos escuchar eh, su, su, su voz, para ver si puede ser el internet. Apague su cámara. Ok, hable ahora, Wendy. ¿Hola? No, no, se escucha así como... No, como, no, no nos escucha. Quizás el conector le está fallando. Ajá, puede, puede ser. Vamos a ver. Va. Ok, mientras, mientras tanto tenemos a Karen. Eh, Karen, eh, bueno, David Orlando, usted puede, eh, mientras Wendy fix this one, no sé si, bueno, puede comentarle a Karen sus oraciones. Ok. Eh... My boss and uh, number one, my boss call asks if me call ask me for report. You call us uh, number two. You call ask me for inventory of guarantees. I will ask for the agencies square. Call you ask for me a square report. Okay. Could you, could, eh, se pronuncia could you, could you, could, could you, con U, could, could you, could, uh, could you, ajá, exactly, could you, yes, eh, bueno, voy a pasar al otro grupo, pero bueno, no sé, Wendy, eh, intente hablar ahora, no, no se escucha nada, eh, yo no estoy segura de una de mis oraciones, Ok. Eh, Karen, could you cover Verónica? Si sí, la puede cubrir, no sé, reemplazar, sustituir. Could you, could you call Verónica? No, cover. Could you cover Verónica? Yes, could you cover Verónica, eh, please? O could you cover Verónica in the job, o no sé. No, está bien, it's okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Continue, guys. I need to move. So, great job. Gold. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué es, ¿De qué es la empresa? Es eh, Technology Cell Phones. Uh, uh -huh. hello, hello, guys. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I just need to ask something. Eh, bueno, no, eh, Jenny, usted ya pasó con la entrevista de los 10 minutos al final. No, creo que soy uh -huh. la última. Ajá, no sé si podría pasar hoy. No sé, le consulto. Sí. Porque en el caso de Wendy, que le corresponde ahora, tiene problemas con el, con el audio. Entonces, no. Uh -huh. Entonces, excelente. Thank you. Singapore. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, thank you. La repetimos. Right. You. Sí, ok, ok. Could you give me the amount to pay in taxes? Number one. Number two, could you prepare the project payroll? Number three, Mon could, could you give me last week's report? Mm -hmm. uh, or could you give me the bank report for the month of 
I prefer. I prefer. Mm -hmm. For, I uh, what? I'm sorry. Uh, April. April. Uh, the, el mes? April. 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 Yes. Okay. Could you give me the bank report for the month of April? Uh, could you give me inventory control for last month? Okay, okay. For, the, for the last month. Okay, eh, also, eh, la palabra es could, eh, como, como la pronunciación es con u, could you, could oh. you, could, could you, you, could, oh, yes, you. could, could, you. Oh, yes. You. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Um, could you meeting with the client? Could you visit the new store? Could you give me the sales goals? Could you answer the mail? Could you elaborate the forecast? And could you give me the sales report? Okay. Excellent. Could. Could, Could, yes. Could you? Right, that's okay. Well, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go back. Congratulations because you did a great job. So great statement. Let's keep it up. Ok, eh, bueno, en el caso de, bueno, todo about this, right? Bueno, ya casi todos están eh, coming back after the practice. That was good. We need to pass the attendance list to finish the class. Bien. Two, one, and everybody's back here. Yes. Okay. We're going to pass the attendance list, guys, for right now. We're going to pass the attendance list. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Eh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Ana Lilian. Oh, me she's name. Eh, Brenda Beatriz Calderón. Present. Uh, Brian Javier Carmona. Present teacher. Cristian Ernesto Lazo. Present. Eh, David Orlando Álvarez. Present. Eh, Eli Guillermo Antonio García. José Arnoldo Mazariego. José Rodrigo Hernández. José Rodrigo Hernández. He was there. Teacher. Hola. Teacher. Sorry. Yo no escuché mi nombre, pero aquí para que me ponga la asistencia. Ok, perfect. Thank Ana Lilia. All right. Yes. Eh, Karen Vanessa. Present. Eh, Marisol Betsania. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Mauricio, Mauricio Enrique García. Present. Ok, eh, Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Mauricio Ernesto Gutiérrez. Mayra Veraliz Moreno. Present. Omar Francisco Hernández. Present, teacher. Ok, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present. Wendy Maribel. Y Jenny Suleima. Present. Thank you, guys. Ok. See you tomorrow and don't forget to work in the activity today in the plataforma de inglés corporativo. Thank you guys and see you tomorrow. Have a good time. Good night. You too. Good night. Yes. No, no se escucha. Eh, en el caso, no, no se escuchó que, que hola. O escríbanos, escríbanos aquí en el chat, eh, Wendy.
Ok. Eh, José Rodrigo. José Rodrigo Hernández. We need to abandon because we have a meeting with eh, Jenny. Mm. Lo, vamos a, lo vamos a pasar para mañana, Wendy, para que pueda hablar bien. Así que no se preocupe, mañana pasamos. All right. Ok, so see you tomorrow, eh, Wendy. Bye bye. Ok, Jenny, we're going to start today and also because we are going to have like a short review about the activities. And uh, Jenny, tell me, how do you feel because of the course? How do you feel because this model number two uh, about your experience? Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se ha sentido? The microphone. Hola. Yes. Ahora sí. Yes, uh -huh. I listen to you. Tengo que decirlo todo en inglés. If you can do it. <laughs> no. La idea sí. Acuérdese que está, está saliendo Ay. en vivo. Está saliendo en vivo, Ay. así que don't worry. También. No. <laughs> eh, I, I think that I need vocabulary. But the... La estructura, uh -huh. hay, hay, yo la entiendo, pero en el momento cuando voy a hacer la oración, eh, las palabras cuando no las encuentro me es más difícil formular las oraciones. Yeah. Uh -huh. el, el, creo que el, el, el contenido, hay, yo lo entiendo. Ajá. Básicamente es eso, el, el, el vocabulario. vocabulario. The, the vocabulary, ok, the, the, the... Yes. Context, the context. And, uh, mm -hmm. okay, so, for example, if there anything that you would like to reinforce about the, maybe the content or some expressions that you would like to reinforce, ¿hay alguna estructura de la que hemos visto en estas clases que no haya comprendido o no sé, o algo que quisiera reforzar en estos minutos o si todo está bien y... Mm -hmm. En la cuestión del vocabulario, hay vocabulario, uh -huh. claro, eh, a medida que vamos avanzando, vamos aprendiendo nuevas expresiones, uh -huh. new phrases, new things, so it's like a process. Yeah. No, realmente no. Si gusto podemos como leer o algo, y I usted mean, me, me dice el, el, la pronunciación. A I mí... Mean, eh, en este caso, eh, como le digo, si pues cuando hay a veces solicitudes, Uh -huh. eh, vamos, a, vamos a usar la, the conversation we have here, just one moment. Okay. That was the conversation. So let's have a role play. So I will be, uh -huh. I will be Max and you will be Joe. Okay. okay. Let's try. Okay. Yeah. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peps.com. We receive a new printer and I need help setting it up could you help me please no problem joy could you tell me the model oh uh, let me check uh can you hold on a second please oh it's on a alt page in max 30. okay first make sure that the power cord is plugged in one second uh, the power cord is Make sure that the power cord is. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Aquí es plugged. Y que plugged. suena como una T, plugged. Plugged, plugged. in. Plugged in. Uh -huh. Plugged in. Power cord is plugged in. Uh -huh. It's plugged in. Plugged. Plugged. In. Plugged in, in. Okay. yeah. En la palabra el could, en este caso, eh, es como una U. Could. 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 Ah, la O no se pronuncia. Uh, es uh -huh. could. Could. Y como D al final, ¿verdad? Could. Uh -huh. Could. Yes. Could. Okay. Exactly. Uh -huh. 
Ok, entonces yo respondía, yo respondía, ah, all right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Mm, second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Ok, so that would be... Uh, Third, eh, no es third. Sí, no es como una ah, third. 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 Y la otra es appears. 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 Appears, appears. on the screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lo voy a repetir de nuevo. All Complete. Right. Okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peers.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me? No, could you help me, please? No problem, George. Could you tell me the model? Um, let me check. Could, can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an Ultipage MX Terry. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is in plug, plug in. Plugged in, plugged, plugged in. Plugged in, all right. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. Ese es como una, una unión de dos palabras, o so es así, all right. Okay. All in right, entonces lo unen para decir, está bien, all right. All right. Is it? Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the that the installation CD in the is in the tray. And third, third. one the menu third. In third, one once the men, menu is menu menu appears. On the screen, click on complete install. All right, cool. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Actually, uh, you can see it's about practice. I mean, you got it. Maybe you know the words. It's like, uh, eh, solamente, por ejemplo, una de las claves es, por ejemplo, esta palabra, setting it up. Setting it up. Setting it up. Eh, un, en un inglés, digamos, ya avanzado, eh, uh -huh. usted dice setting it up. So, setting it up, setting it up. Entonces, setting it up. Ajá, a veces es como unirle. Ajá, ellos lo, lo, habla, lo hablan rápido, entonces lo unen. Setting Nosotros decimos setting it up, setting it up. Ajá, entonces, como que suena un poco más, más, setting. Na más native. Setting it up. Setting, setting it up. It up. Setting it up. Setting it oh. up. Uh -huh. Setting it up. Y lo otro era a pierce. Third. 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 First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Third. Mm -hmm. Third. Yes. Sí. Ahí, es como, como una Z. Yo me canso leyendo, leyendo el inglés. <risa> <risa> sí. yeah, no. Pero ya, o sea, fíjese y esto es más que todo, eh, ya a medida que usted va conociendo más palabras que son parecidas, eh, y se lo digo por experiencia, ya hay otras palabras que ya no necesita usted eh, buscarle significado porque se parecen a unas, porque tienen un, una estructura igual a esta. Entonces, a medida que usted va aprendiendo más palabras y cómo se pronuncian las palabras, ya habrán uh -huh. otras nuevas que usted solo las relaciona y hasta ya las puede pronunciar. Y eso es como va evolucionando, sí. ¿sabe? Eh, uh -huh. Por ejemplo, hay una palabra que sea parecida a could, usted ya va a saber que va a tener un, una pronunciación uh -huh. casi similar, ¿verdad? Food, sí, por eh. ejemplo, could, food, could, food. Entonces, uh, entonces hay palabras que van, eh, vamos aprendiendo y vamos aprendiendo la pronunciación. Entonces, también sí, para American. poder, ya, yeah, para inglés americano, you know, it helps a lot. Sí. Bueno. But, but that's okay. Appears. <laughs> appears. Sí. Appears. Appears. Uh -huh. Appears. Que no se me olvide. Uh -huh. Yeah. Igual que el important. Así Import, era. Important. important. Import mm. mountain mountain. Uh -huh. Import. ¿Dónde está ese mountain? 
Okay. Mountain. mountain. Como de montañas. Ajá. Es, are the mountains. Ah, mo mountain. Mountains. Mm -hmm. Es que la gente lo dice mountain, pero es que no se pronuncia time, sino que es mount mm, mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Mountain. Así okay. que eh, it's about a practice. Okay. Así que, thank you so much, uh, Jenny. I really appreciate this talk. Thank you, teacher. It was good. We practice and yeah. you are learning a lot. Está aprendiendo muchísimo. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Jenny. You're doing a great job. So, see you tomorrow and practice. See you tomorrow, teacher. Excellent. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.